Hello everybody and welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. Hi, my name is Kylie. This is my life lately. Um, I'm super excited to start this new year. So of course I am going to be doing a plan with me in my new Sterling Ink Common Planner. Now please ignore my nails. I am so rough with my nails. It's not even funny. So I have lost all of the polish on the side. I've chipped it over here. It's a mess. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. I would really like to fix my nails, but I'm going to let it not bother me and hope that it doesn't look too crazy. So for this spread, I'm going to be using the Coffee Monsters Co. Golden New Year, page one and two. I did not get the three pages. Um, I think that's okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm not too too worried about it. This is my memory planner. I do have a B6 as well that's going to be going with me everywhere. Um, I've got both girls home with me today, so if you guys hear them in the background, that is what's going on. Today is actually Wednesday, the Wednesday after Christmas, so I am pre-planning or planning ahead. These are the two washies that I will be using. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co. It's the um, cafe, I believe, something. I'm not sure. I will put it on the video. And then this is from Sterling, uh, Simply Gilded. It's a new one. I haven't used it yet, but it's just kind of like the cream with the gold as well. And I thought this would be perfect if I decide to use the washies. Um, I thought maybe they'd look cute right here. So we'll see. But yeah, so I've never used a Hobonichi, so this is all new to me. So this is obviously not the Hobonichi, it's the common planner. But I think I think it'll be okay. We'll be we we should be good. Alrighty, so since I've never used a Hobonichi or common planner before, this is all gonna be new to me and I'm going to be experimenting with how I like my layout because it's it's really different. I've obviously never used one before. So I'm going to start with the sidebar over here. Hold on. Let me get my sleeves out of the way. And I'm thinking I will just start right here. It does cover up some of the numbers there, but I don't think that's too bad. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, I don't have a whole lot going on this week in particular um my husband does have um military stuff at the end of the week so that's about it for as far as like what i am got going on um we're going to throw down this for a sleep tracker i'm thinking that would be decent Yeah, so that's, I think, the only downside so far that I've noticed from this planner is that the stickers that you place on this sidebar here will cover up the numbers here. But <laughs> other than that, I haven't noticed anything too drastic. I think I'm going to use this sticker because I want to make a milk tracker. Um, for those of you guys who are new here, I breastfeed my my daughter and I'm currently trying to see if I'm making enough for her. So I've got these uh, Sweet Kawaii Design pump stickers from a lovely planner friend and I'm gonna use that to stick down right here cute and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the graph here I could use this kind of graph but I feel like I'm gonna need more um, than what she shows on this sidebar here as far as like how many ounces go so let me get my pens out I might use this 
this one, which <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys what Tombow marker this is, but it's a perfect neutral. Hold on. Okay, so I believe this is um, Tombow 992. So if you guys were wondering, that is that. And then for the graph line itself, I'm going to be using the Zebra Sarasa in, I believe this is 0.7, but I don't see where it would say that. But yeah, I think this is a 0 0.7. So let's get my handy dandy ruler out. And let's see, we've got Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So I need to make sure that. Oh. I'm thinking we are getting sick over here at our house. It's not been good. No, it's been it's been pretty awful. Um, we we came back from my mother in law's house celebrating Christmas, and the girls like I think Kinsey is teething, um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, and it's really it's really stressful. So I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with twenty four ounces up here. I know that's an odd number or a weird number to start on, but I believe I will be able to keep up with it. Um, I went through like a, like a drought period where my body really wasn't producing what it should and it scared me but this past weekend Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday this past weekend um she was on the boob all the time like constantly feeding because she just wasn't getting enough and that was terrifying um I was really worried that I would end up not continuing it anymore but so far so good um let's do this is the Tombow Fidenosuke brush tip pen in um hard tip oops sorry and then I'm gonna use the other common planner I have as like somewhere to write with because I started to mess up so we're gonna write sleep up here Sleep and then milk. Kinsey has found her voice, you guys. So she will be very talkative in the background of this video. She doesn't like nap for me, like ever. So um, I laid her down just after a feed and she woke right back up and I let her sit there for a bit and then um, she was quiet for a while and then just didn't care to be in there anymore. So yeah, we're going to do three, four, five, six, seven. I think next time I do the sleep tracker, I'm going to go by twos because some on the weekends, I sometimes get more than seven hours of sleep. So, yeah. Um, and then I think I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, did you guys have a wonderful Christmas? I definitely did. Uh, we... Like I said, we went and seen my mother-in-law 
this past weekend. So we spent some time up there and um, I got these really cute moccasins from my mother-in-law because when I first went up there about two years ago, oh, well, it had to have been longer. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the littlest one got hungry and I laid her back down in the swing. So we'll see if she actually falls asleep or not. They, at her daycare, they suggested that she get six ounces now per day and I'm starting to panic because I am unsure on whether or not I'll be able to accommodate the increase in milk. So, but I do remember saying that I was um, at my mother-in-law's this Christmas weekend and we did a lot of fun artsy things. I, I got uh, a pair of moccasins slash slippers, whatever you want to call them, for Christmas from her. And my daughter got a Furby. And for Christmas, she got a bunch of stickers. So she is excited about that. Um, Kinsey got a teether toy. I think her teeth are coming in because she's got a crazy bad runny nose and I'm, I don't know. They, they also got a cough kind of, and it's just, it's a bit much <coughs> as you can hear. <laughs> um, it's a bit much for me. I took the day off today because I was supposed to go back to work and the girls just sound not well and I don't want to be you know the that mom that sends their kids to daycare while they're sick but I also am running out of like sick leave and vacation time and so I really like this is the part of being the default parent that I hate so much because I feel I can't get this off I feel as if like I I like I don't get to have the fun vacation time because my vacation time is used up for kids sick days and you know that kind of stuff I don't know I'm sure a lot of you parents kind of feel the same if you have kids yourself you kind of understand what I'm going through or you at least feel for what I'm going through even if you're not going through it yourself um but yeah so I'm stayed home today because the girls just like they don't sound good and I don't want to you know come back from Christmas and get a bunch of other kids sick you know so and I figured it'd be nice for them because Santa came um yesterday which was the day after Christmas um, at our house because we were not home on Christmas Day. We spent Christmas Day with my husband's family and yeah, we didn't, didn't get the chance to open up, um, actual Christmas gifts. So I... Um, got my husband, <sighs> she is just talking away over there, I got my husband a bartending set, or like a bar set, and I think I explained this in my last video where I can't seem to surprise him, but I did get him a t-shirt that he really likes, it's, um, it's one of, like, it has lyrics to one of our favorite songs on it. So, that was a surprise for him. And he he seemed to like it, at least. Seemed to like it. I hope he liked it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to write a, I'm going to do the to-do list down here at the bottom. I feel like... 
I need to rotate between the polka dots and the regular. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do this one here. But yeah, so he got just two simple items. I wanted to get him tickets to um, a concert for next year, but financially it was not really in the cards. At least for the price of those tickets, they weren't. So maybe when the concert comes around, if there's still available tickets, I might splurge on them. We will see. Um, he's not too disappointed about it. So, yeah. And we don't know what we're going to do next year anyway. So, like, having just random tickets, whether or not we're going to make it to it, is kind of the iffy part. So, I guess it's a blessing in disguise in that aspect. Um, and for me, from my husband, I don't know what I got. He... He went ahead and purchased like a little craft tote. And so I got a craft tote for Christmas. But the rest of the gift that he said he got me is not going to arrive until later. So I don't know what I got. And he said, I think the one is supposed to arrive Thursday, oh not this Thursday, but like Thursday, this, this week, because today's Wednesday, so it should arrive tomorrow, but we will see. I'm going to put the weekend banner right up here. Oh. She's not even really mad. She's just talking <laughs> over there. Okay. So I work this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. So we're going to go ahead and use the Tombow and mark in work. So... Okay, so I wrote in work and then drop off girls. So that that is good. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot going on this weekend. Or, yeah, for this weekend. Um, I will have the plan with me video up. So let's use... use some stickers for that okay because my plan with me is always go up around eight and then this weekend right here I probably won't be able to get a plan with me in, so we'll, we will see. I'm going to probably have to pre-film some planner videos in order to make it all happen. So, yeah. That's kind of my goal, is to get some planner videos up. Mm, where do I want to stick it? Probably right around here, because this is around the time that I would 
be filming. So I'm gonna use, I have the little mini icon sampler. Let me go ahead and use the writing one. The one with the tiny, tiny, tiny little here <laughs> pen. Put that there. Use the Tombow to create a circle. And then write in, this is also my Pentel Energel Klena in 0.4. So those of you guys who are wondering, Alrighty, so then Friday is payday. So I'm gonna use the little tiny icon for that. Actually, hold on a second. Okay, so I have this sheet of Yay Money stickers that I'm going to use to write in that Friday is payday. Actually, I wanna use this little guy because this one shows three things of cash and this one only shows one, so that means I get a little less money. <laughs> um, no, actually, I really won't have very good paychecks because I was not working as often this week. But I do know that I think it's the first that Helen's um subscription goes live so i think i'm going to be subscribing to her subscription for this year at least that's the goal so there's that um, I'm not going to mark in when I work um, on Friday because I'm going to be probably taking a half day. Um, I have to drive my husband to his military thing, so I don't know what time I'll be getting out for that. Um, but I can go ahead and mark in these days. Actually, I'm going to take this, this one. I'm going to add these little headers this video is going to be extremely long because well This is the first time I'm planning in this thing. But, so did you guys buy yourself anything for Christmas? Because I did. 
Um, I actually bought this fountain pen. It is the Jin Hao fountain pen. I think it's the 85. I don't know. Um, I think this is the milk tea one. So that is what the tip looks like. It is super pretty. I haven't inked it up with anything yet. So comment down below what you guys think I should ink it up with. I'm tempted to just do a black for this one, even though it screams like a brown coffee color or something like this color. But I think I want to do black because my um, Twisby seems to skip quite often. I don't know if I bumped the um, tip of it funny or did something wrong with it, but I think that the... I, I don't know. I think this one would be a better suited one for my black because this one will go with me and I'll get to use it every day and I really like the just look of this. So I'm thinking about using the um, document black. Uh, is it D. Adramente's docu document black? So comment down below if you guys think I should use this for my everyday black because I think it's just so cute. Um, I just am loving the color. Maybe I'll get something similar to it. This is not the uh, fountain pen that I wanted to buy myself, but the one that I wanted to buy myself was way, way, way out of my price range right now. And me and my husband both agreed that it would be best if I didn't purchase the one that I really want because of the price point and it would just be a smarter financial decision for me to hold off on it and maybe purchase it later on. So that is what I'm going to do because I, I think that screwing um, up our payment and whatnot because I bought a pen <laughs> sounds pretty awful. So yeah, we're going to hold off on that. But So this day, the girls are going to need a bath. And I have the perfect sticker for that. So it's bath time emojis. I'm going to do the one with a little... Ah, well no, we'll do this one because I have quite a few of them. I know it sounds weird that I have to plan out the days that my kids get baths, but... Um... Personally... Let's see. I'd like them in bed before... So we're going to do right there. Um, so if they're going to get a bath on Monday, this is going to sound really terrible. And I'm sorry if I'm a bad parent for this, but my girls will get a bath three times a week. No more than that. Unless, you know, obviously they're really dirty. But I tried to get them in the bathtub at least that many times a week. It is really hard for me to... do bath time every other night or every single night. I try to do every other night and I think it's somewhat good, but we don't get home until really late in the evening. So to do dinner and hope that the girls eat it fast enough, well, Kinsey doesn't eat dinner dinner. Um, just Kalani um, and hoping that you know they finish their meal and yeah it's it's one of those things that like I pray that I get it all done I believe this day is trash day but it might have actually moved here because of it being a holiday this day so it always confused me but I want to get the trash out on Tuesday just to make sure that, you know, we make it in time. But like I was saying about the trash day, uh, I mean, not trash day, the girl's bath day. I, we get home so late that it's, it's one of those things that, um, gets put on the back burner and I know that sounds terrible. I feel like a terrible mom for saying that, but 
truthfully, it is the honest truth. I feel like if they're just going to school and coming back home, that they're not extremely dirty. But, yeah, so this is the night that I got to do baths because I'm going to do it on Monday as well. Which, I probably won't mark it in on Monday because I'll do it whenever I have time. So if that's a morning bath, then they get a morning bath. Otherwise, just before bed is a good one always because the girls just wind down after a bath anyway. Alrighty, so yeah, that is how I'm going to leave this Friday. I need to bring in the girls' check for care and I'm going to budget spend some time budgeting on Friday. Hmm. Can I play, Mama? Yeah, you may go play. Yay. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything really major. Okay, on Tuesday, I need to make an appointment with my OBGYN. And then I also need to make an appointment with a dermatologist because skin cancer runs in my family and I've noticed a mole or a few moles that really need to get checked out. So I'm going to make sure that I do that because it's important that I stay on top of that, especially given the fact that my, my genes that run in my blood... Um, are very prone to skin cancer. So, um, check for care. And then, what was the other thing that I was going to write down for Friday? Oh, budget. Okay, and then for Tuesday, I need to call O B. for an appointment, my yearly like checkup. And I need to Oh, I also need to call for Kalani's checkup. Um I need to schedule that. And then I also, now that I'm talking about Kalani's five-year appointment, I need to call the hospital or the congenital heart center about Kalani's um, five-year-old like checkup for her heart. So for those of you guys who don't know, my daughter had open heart surgery when she was two. Um, they had to, um, she was born with a heart defect, so she had, um, surgery when she was two, to fix that, and this is just, um, they were gonna, they do a check every two years now, so... 
her first or every year now. They do a heart check. So I need to call on that to figure out when she's going to have her um, check to make sure that everything's still going well and that she doesn't need to have surgery again. So yeah, that is that. I need to do that. I'm going to do it all on the first of the year because it just makes sense to kind of, you know, start the year off. I mean, overwhelming, but um, start the year off with every appointment that needs to go in for the year in hopes that that'll be all the appointments that need to go in for the year. So yeah, alrighty, I just added this little um, Polaroid, I don't know, it's a little banner, but it also can be used as like to skip certain things, but anyway... I'm actually going to throw one more down up here because I'm pretty sure 8 o'clock is around the time I'd be waking up anyway, so that'd be kind of cute. Alrighty, so this is what my spread looks like for the first week of 2024. I am super excited to be finally in my new planners. Um, I should be making a plan with me for the B6. I'm not going to hold myself to it because I'm, I'm going to be super busy with pre-filming a bunch of plan with me's for the time that I will not be able to pre-film or to film them so that I can still get them up on the Sundays that are needed. So yeah, um, we'll see if I can get to the B6 plan with me. If not, um, it's probably going to look a little bit similar to this one. Um, or, or not. I might just save this kit for next year. We will see. I don't know. I don't know yet. I think this looks really cute. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed it. Um, also let me know in the comments below what you guys got for Christmas. Did you guys get anything that's stationary related or planner related? I had a lot of fun. I'm super excited and I hope you guys had a wonderful new year. All right. See you guys later. Bye.